74 was was a, a big year for me because I, I won the Smirnoff Amateur at Sunset and got invited to compete in the Smirnoff Pro. At that point, there was, I, I don't know, maybe 24 pros or something. And, and there was no trials to get in. They took one winner, the winner of the Smirnoff Amateur was the only guy to get in. And I, I made it in and made it to the semifinals at sunset. And then they held off and the next day it was 25 foot Waimea. That was the, the biggest waves I'd ever seen. I'd never even seen Waimea like that. And that was the biggest um, waves a contest was ever held in. It's probably 78, 77, 78 stubbies. And it uh, looks like they're putting up the scores. I'm against MR. Never had a good record against him. I had a 9, he had a 9-5. I had an 8, he had an 8-5. That's probably the story of my career with Mark Richards. He, when he got on those twin fins, he was uh, pretty much untouchable. The, the turns he was doing were no matter what you did on, on your regular boards, you, you just couldn't match them. It's been a good run and you know, I'm just looking forward, but it's so fun to get some of these things and, and look back because you, you forget. And without these images to jog the memory of the past, it's, a lot of the memories are just, you know, they're in there deep and, and um, they don't come out unless there's a spark to bring them back. And these, a lot of these images spark that, that memory and all of a sudden the whole, moment comes back and I think this this is going to help you know bring back some of the history of the sport and why these guys are able to, to make what they're making now because we paved the way for them.